You're right, Illustrate, I can't quite get the nut on the threads of the tool. Here's my spring. And I put on the tool. I don't put it over the edge yet, the feet over the edge, until I get this part on uh, onto the top of the spring. Now I make sure that I put the legs over the edge there. Now I loosen this top of the nut here. I'm adding the top of the tool and I get out my clamp. This is a wood clamp. Set it so that the, the little foot that, that wobbles can spin as I spin the top of that. And I put the foot of the bottom against the edge here so that the nut can't be pushed back down. But you want to allow the foot to push on the spring. But notice that the foot may be pushing on the, on the top of the stem. Make sure that you leave the gap open so that you can get the keepers in there and definitely don't push on the stem. So I keep adding pressure onto that until it gets close enough where I can uh, start to engage the threads. So I push a little more and now I can start spinning that top and uh, I'm on the threads. Now I'll remove the clamp. And if the threads are properly, properly aligned, you should be able to screw it all the way down and compress the spring enough to get the keepers in there. I bring in my magnet and make sure that the valve stem is all the way up. Oh, it's not all the way up. So now you can see the, the little grooves on the, on the edges of the valve. And we have enough groove to put the keepers in there. Just double checking and I I have pressure on the cylinder head, so now that the, that the valve is closed, it stays closed with it pushed all the way up, and I'm unable to push it down anymore. So now I add a little bit of grease onto the, you can add to the uh, valve stem edges here so that the keepers stick. You can also add them into the keepers, and it acts as a temporary glue. Add some rags around the outside so that the keepers don't fall in anywhere. Now I add the keepers. Angle it in there. You should have enough uh, of the grooves on the edge to hold the, the keeper on there. If, it's, if it doesn't seem to be sticking on there, it could be that you, either your valve stem isn't all the way up uh, I experienced a valve stem that was stuck down and it was corroded down and I had to put some force. I found that it was lower than the other valve stem. But once your valve spring is down compressed enough and, uh, and, your, and your stem is all the way up, then you can easily get these keepers on there without issue. And then once the keepers are on there, you're, you're sure that they're going to fit in the hole, then you can slowly let off the pressure. Uh, put a rag over the top just in case the keepers go flying out that it doesn't go flying somewhere you don't want it to go. And we have success. The keepers are installed.